is your first alert five weather with Alan Rose. And it is a bright and beautiful start to your Sunday. If you're just joining us, the time is 737, the final Sunday of January. And we are seeing a really gorgeous but cold start to the day. Now things will warm up nicely as we head into the afternoon hours with highs pretty close to what we saw yesterday. First, though, a quick look at temperatures outside right now. 23 Monument, 30 in the Springs. This is the airport. I just checked the uh, weather station here in the First Alert 5 Weather Center. Our Rock Room and Studio is reporting 23. So quite a bit of variability across even the town of Colorado Springs, 22 Woodland Park, four bone chilling degrees in Alamosa, 14 outside of Westcliff. Now, yesterday at this time, we had quite a bit of cloud cover still in place across the southern half of Colorado, and that kept temperatures up. So you see in contrast to yesterday at this time, especially around Colorado Springs to Lyman, temperatures much colder on our Sunday versus Saturday morning. Wind is fairly light across the board. Good news here, and we're not expecting much wind, except for maybe some occasional strong breezes up across the mountains, especially out towards the Continental Divide. Now today, as we put the hour by hour future cast into motion by 11 a.m., seeing some cloud cover beginning to move in towards Woodland Park and Canyon City, but still going to see temperatures warm up due to the gentle west wind. That's a downslope flow, and that helps to produce warmer than average temperatures. So we can see by around 2 o'clock, 50s in the Springs and Pueblo. will be in the mid 50s in Walsenburg by that time, upper 40s to low 50s in Monument. And then by the dinner hour, you'll need the jackets as you head outside Sunday night. We'll see temperatures back down to the 30s and the 40s. So here's how your Sunday plays out on the planner forecast by 9 a.m. still in the 30s. Noontime temps right near 50 degrees and highs into the low 50s in the Springs. Dry today, calm before the storm, but Monday things begin to get exciting. We'll see some snow in the morning hours out towards Grand Junction, Telluride and Steamboat. This system is going to be fast moving, so the snow and the rain expected to move east of the mountains and into the plains by Monday afternoon and into Monday night. Now, not expecting a lot of accumulation. Most areas are going to stay well under an inch, but this system could bring in maybe some problems to the evening drive home, especially if you commute between Denver and the Springs, the gap. Palmer Divide, Monument Hill areas could be pretty messy heading into tomorrow night. Tuesday looks dry before the next system enters the picture heading into Wednesday morning and Wednesday afternoon. So let's focus in on the first one with a look at our storm impact scale forecast. Again, Monday afternoon into evening, we'll see that light rain or a light rain snow mix eventually changing over to snow after sunset. Minor accumulations across the I-25 corridor, but again, warning out there, just the first alert that we will likely see slick roads for the PM commute. And here's a look at how much snow we're anticipating. I updated the map this morning, a trace around La Junta and Pueblo, less than an inch for the springs, and maybe upwards of an inch or two up towards Monument and the Tri Lakes. So highs today, it's going to be beautiful out there. Enjoy it. Sunshine early with uh, temperatures in the 50s and then increasing clouds tonight as lows drop down to the 20s all across the I-25 corridor. will be coldest out towards Alamosa and Sawatch once again. So over the next seven days, mild Sunday conditions give way to that mixed bag of precip on Monday. Now in the morning, again, pretty nice, probably even seeing some peaks of sunshine mixed with the clouds, but then the snow and the rain move in heading into Monday afternoon and Monday night. For Pueblo, we'll see a beautiful day today, but becoming unsettled with rain and possibly a rain snow mix Monday, dry on Tuesday, and then another mixture of rain to snow heading into Wednesday. For Canyon City, we've got you with a rain snow mix on Monday, dry on Tuesday, but snow showers moving back in Wednesday and for Woodland Park. It's been a while since we've seen several days with these snowy icons, Jessica, but we could be talking about accumulating snowfall early in the week and then again Wednesday, Thursday, more snow ahead in that forecast.